YouTube was good with y'all man, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel, hope y'all doing good. In today's video man, I just seen that Babyface Ray was about to drop a new album this Friday, so I figured why not make a tutorial on how to make those type of beats man, those, those ambient, smooth, melodic beats, those 90 BPM beats, cause that shit really go crazy. And I don't see a lot of people focused on that genre, that niche, and I've really been fucking with those, those 90 BPM beats bro, like those smooth beats, y'all for real sleeping on that shit, so. I had to make a tutorial, you feel me? So yeah, just gonna be making a beat from scratch from start to finish, explaining everything. So it's pretty much it, man. Let's get right into it. Let's get it. By the way, man, real quick, y'all don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. We're close to 50,000 subs on the channel. I believe we're like 100 subs away. So from the bottom of my heart, man, real shit, no bullshit. Really want to thank y'all, man, for 50,000 on the channel, bro. That shit's crazy for real. So y'all make sure to run it up, man. I'm gonna just keep pushing out the content, pushing out the tutorials. Uh, and if y'all want some sort of giveaway or a special video for 50,000, y'all make sure to let me know in the comments down below or DM me on IG, man. So let's get it. All right, man, as y'all can see, we back in FL. Just gonna start off by setting the BPM. Uh, like I said, you really want to go for that 90 range if you want to make these type of beats. Or it can go a little bit below or above. Let's start out with uh, 89. Of course, we can start out with an electric piano of some sort. Go for a Rhodes out of Keyscape, for example. I've been using Keyscape a lot. It's one of my favorite uh, piano VSTs, but I'm gonna use something different for today's video. Let's go into this uh, JV1080 VST right here from the uh, Roland Cloud Bundle. I'm just browsing the presets real quick, see if I can find an uh, electric piano that sounds good, man. So for the scale, I'm gonna just start out on F sharp minor. Start out by building a basic triad. Start out on the root note F sharp. Skip one note in the scale. Skip another note like that. And I'll skip another note. Really gives it that that smooth vibe. We're trying to go for you feel me. Mm -hmm. Fuck with that. So shorten this chord right here. Add a second chord after this first chord. Let's repeat the same steps. Let's go down to B. Skip one note into scale. One note into scale. One note into scale. At the top note that we added right here. What I mean. Sounds good, man. Want to leave a lot of room in those chords to really like introduce some tension. Next, I'm going to just copy this over. Let's cut out this third chord and switch up the root note. And try D. That's hard. Fuck with that. Also, we got the root notes locked in at the bottom right here. So now we can try inverting some of the notes to uh, kind of change the voicing of the chords. If you ever like it really changes the whole like mood of the chords. Actually, I don't really like that last chord. So I'm just bringing this B back that we had before. But like I said, we can try switching up the voicing of the chord by inverting some of the notes. Something like that. So next, uh, we're still missing some rhythm in the chords. So I'm gonna just try strumming some of the chords, pushing some notes back, kind of creating some sort of some sort of rhythm, right? Actually, bro, let's just copy this straight over. Really like the way that shit sounded. Just copy this shit over. Some top notes, create some harmonies in between the chords. Uh, and then lastly, for this melody layer, I'm gonna just push some notes off grid to kind of humanize it. Also, play around with the velocities. Uh, and after that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Really makes a big difference, man. We ended up with, man. A lot of space still. Kind of melodies and shit. Perfect. Within the VST though, I'm gonna turn off the effects to uh, add my own effects. Just gives you a little bit more control. Send it to a mixer track and let's uh, process it a little bit. Really wanna keep that warmth with an EQ so let's not cut the low mids out. Maybe a little bit cut out the harshness. So compression of course, especially on keys, kind of pushes the quiet and loud parts a little bit closer together. A little bit of chorus, kind of widens the sound a little bit. Some distortion man always sounds good on electric pianos, bro. Like always. Last I think I'm add some some room to it, some reverb and some delay. It's just so perfect, bro. Yeah, that's it for the first melody, man. But all right, next for the second layer, I think I'm gonna complement this electric piano with some sort of other electric piano or a grand piano. So I'm just copy over the root notes and lay down some chords to. Uh, like I said, compliment it. I really like using this uh, Wurlitzer out of Keyscape to uh, complement electric pianos. I believe it's uh, this one or this one right here. So let's rebuild those chords that we started out with. So the root notes. Copy down an octave. Up an octave. Make it sound a little bit more full. Build some basic triads on top of those root notes. Once again. Like that. Let's invert that. 
middle note. Sounds good. Bring that top note down to A. That's pretty much all we need. So let's strum the chords a little bit. Randomize the velocities. That's pretty much it. Also sounds good, bro. Give this one. Right, let's give that first electric panel sender. Let's pan this to the right. Process it a little bit. Cut out those lower mids, make some room for that first electric piano. Bring out some of the presence. Something like that. Once again, some distortion. Some compression. Let's copy over the reverb. Blends in perfectly, man. The next sound, I think we can complement these two electric pianos perfectly with another uh, piano to keep skip. Let's go for a grand piano. I'm just copy over these chords that we laid down in that second pattern right there. down a little bit that's way more life to it man like really makes the sample sound alive lower this note a little bit perfect all right so since we panned that second row it's to the right uh, i gotta pan this to the left to kind of complement it on the uh, left side widens the sample out as well makes it sound a little bit more balanced if you got one thing pan to the right and pass something else to the left perfect once again, some very simple effects just to blend it in. Some EQ in. Also add some reverb to it. Sounds really full, man. Sounds really good. Add some more to it. All right, man. So we got the chords locked in. So now it's time to add some sort of top lines, some sort of counter melody to it. To really add that melodic uh, shit to the sample. Got Synology pulled up with this preset right here. Some sort of tremolo electric guitar. I'm just playing around on my MIDI keyboard trying to come up with some sort of catchy uh, counter melody, man. Hold on, bro. I don't even know what I did, bro. Dump score log. Boom. Mm. But that shit hard, bro. Copy it over. Switch it up a little bit on the uh, second two bars. That shit perfect, bro. Keep the effects fairly simple. Start out with an EQ. Just add some, some reverb to it. Some delay, maybe. See how that sounds. Not too much. Cut some of the highs out. Yep. Right, so now I want to add some low end in it. Uh, let's add a sub bass, some sort of key bass to it that we can maybe use instead of an 808, especially with these types of beats, man. Like um, sub bass and shit always sound really good. Like using this uh, key bass at a key skip. That's really good. You feel me? Like, you can use this shit instead of a sub bass or an 808. Let's add a kick to it. Yeah. Got this light note right here. Just keep it simple. It's all it needs. Some rhythm right here. Boost the lows a little bit. Sub lows. Take away the clicks. Maybe compress it a little bit. Hell yeah. Maybe add some distortion to it as well. To add this uh, decapitator to it. That's a lot of character to the sample, man. Sub bass. That's perfect, man. Sample sounded good to me. It's almost done. I think I want to add one more thing to it. One more top line, maybe. Let's go into Keyscape, Grand Piano once again. Let's add some sort of top melody to it in the higher octaves. Ooh, hold on. For the effects, man, nothing crazy. It's just me queuing to clean it up. Some reverb to blend it in. That's it, man. All right, man. So I arranged the sample real quick. So now it's time to add some jumps under this sample, man. Sample came out crazy once again. Oh, 
uh, like always every single drum sound that i'm gonna be using for today's beat and, and all of my beats all of my tutorials man get from my everson and rook season jump kit man both out right now first link down in the description if you're still looking for some high quality drum sounds man this is the way to go both of these kids got every single drum sound in it you need to lay down hard drums man used by industry producers billboard producers and of course me myself got 808s bonus loops claps effects highs kicks open hats percussion and snares my everson drum kit also included some fl studio themes they all see me use in every single one of my videos so yeah like i said if you're still looking for some high quality ready to use drum sounds make sure to go check that out after watch today's video man first link down in the description let's get it so for the drums uh this key bass that we added before so it's really full man really like how this sounded so i don't think i'm gonna be using an 808 for this beat i think i'm gonna just use this uh this key bass and eventually i'll layer that with a kick uh but for now i'm gonna just start out with a basic two-step hi-hat pattern and a snare pattern for the hi-hat like using this one and on a two-step down a little bit I like using this snare from my half a cent drum kit together with uh, this clap I like to pitch this down a little bit some unique shit bro yeah very unique like I said together with a clap Level it properly. Also, like to use some uh, stereo delay on that clap to kind of widen it out. Perfect, bro. Mm. Want to add some sort of symbol to it, so I'm going to my upcoming unreleased make believe drum kit. You feel me? Uh, go to the symbols. Not done yet, so don't worry about it. Let's go for this one. Turn it down. Just add something to it. That little, that little something. Feel me? Yeah. Maybe I add two. One. Second one right here. Enhance the impact a little bit. Yeah. Fuck with it. By the way, man, y'all make sure to go follow me over on Instagram to so notify when I drop this kit. That also grab this open hat from my make-believe jump kit. Let's also shorten that a little bit. Add it to the left. Also a unique sound, bro. Like the main goal for this kit is just to make unique sounds, bro. Actually, I'm gonna put this to um, cut itself. And I'm gonna cut this, this open hat like that. Part out. <laughs> yeah, that's tough, bro. Let's also layer that with a counter snare. Two ones right here. Perfect, man. Sample too tough, bro. Um. Go to kick, bro. Start with the kick. Yeah. Lastly, I'm going to my make believe drum kit. Get this uh, triangle, something like this. to the right bro, i wasn't expecting this hit to turn out this vibe i bet bet i mean so i think that's pretty much it b came out crazy like i said man this shit came out way crazier than i expected oh uh, so yeah that's what we ended up with
man. So that's pretty much it for today's video. That's how I make those smooth ambient beats for artists like Babyface Ray, V's, and all them. Like always, really want to thank y'all for watching the video all the way to the end, man. Really hope that y'all enjoyed this video and learned something from today's video. And if y'all find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Once again, we're close to 50,000 subs on the channel, man. Really want to thank y'all once again. Also, man, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. Stay notified when I drop new videos, new kits. And also, don't forget to check out my drum kits, of course. Um, I have it linked down in the first link down in the description. So make sure to go check that out if you're interested in that. And that's pretty much all I got for today's video, man. So I'm going to catch you on the next one. I'm out.